Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization 5 as Ethiopia. So before we start playing today, I would like to briefly return to that uh, thing that uh, new uh, one of the changes that I ran into last time that I didn't know about that it's now impossible to trade for cash uh, because there are some comments about it. So I'd like to say that I understand why they made this change. I know that it's super easy to abuse the obscene amount of gold that the AIs are getting and uh, that uh, one of the easiest ways and one of the like all this tricks in the book basically in Civ is to trade everything that you have uh, to an AI and then declare a war on it to get everything back and keep the gold. Hey, it's been in the game since the release, so um, I do understand why they made the change, but it doesn't mean that I have to like it. I think they could come up with more creative ways how to solve this problem. I mean, first, and ideal solution would be like, don't give the don't give the AIs like ten times more money than they need, and at the same time make them more effective at spending gold, because sometimes you have AIs that have ten thousand gold in the treasury and they have fifty unupgraded units running around. So that's maybe one way how you can just avoid this problem. Then second, if you don't want to be this creative. You could do something like, after trading with an AI, it could be impossible to declare war on that AI for, let's say, 5 to 10 turns. Just don't take away the option to trade for cash completely. Just do something to prevent the abusing that mechanic. Don't just remove that mechanic from the game. So... Uh, that's just how I see it. Well, the, like the main reason why I have a problem with this is that in the early game, getting flat gold from the AIs is uh, really important on higher difficulties if you don't want to fall too far behind. Basically having flat gold in the early game allows you to do one extra thing per turn. You can produce one thing you can buy another like what i'm doing i'm building buildings and buying units now when you don't have the option to get the gold or you lost like the main source of the flat gold for the early game it slows down everything else and it just at some point it just starts to feel frustrating i mean we'll probably adjust i'm not saying that it makes the game unplayable just I don't like this change, that's what I'm trying to say, and I think there are better ways how to solve the problem that was the reason for this change. Okay, so that's that, let's just uh, forget about it, I'll, I just accepted the change, and um, I'll try to play around it, find a way how to play around it. Um, today, we probably want to expand, get one or two extra cities. Uh, in three turns, I do want to finish the archer before we, uh, before we start working on settlers. And what else? Actually, do I want to lock the horse? How long is it gonna take to finish the the pasture? Nine turns. I probably don't want to trade. Actually, no, I can trade food for fate because he'll be working on. Uh, uh, settler soon. Okay, so in three turns I'll lock the tile. Or I'll lock it in one turn when we get uh, more population. That also works. Fine. Anything else? Everything is gonna now take some time. We'll just end the turn. I don't like all of these units around here. Where are they coming from? Is there... More land? It looks like coast. I'm really curious, where are those units coming from? Okay, I should probably stay around here. Now 
next. Monty declared it on uh, Assyria. Well, that had to happen at some point. Oh, and uh, it wasn't coast. Hmm. There's some ridiculous city locations here. Here, here. Oh, who is that? That is India. That could be our first target. Yes, I think I kind of want to support Assyria for as long as possible. I don't want to have Monty right next to me. Is this gonna take by the way one turn uh, should have checked earlier no actually no we can finish it now We can reduce the time to seven turns, good. Just trying to figure out where exactly I want those coastal cities, probably here, here, and here, because that will cover all of these resources. This is going to be in range as well, technically, but I don't think I can get, uh, or I can send a fishing boat there. Then I could even settle here, because I think as long as this is inside of our territory, I might be able to get fishing boats this way. They will cover the lapis. Eh. Well, we will see. It depends on how many cities I decide to settle. Should probably also check where is all of the silver that's 
four that we are basically guaranteed to get. I'll just have to figure out how do I get this one. I might settle here. It's gonna piss off India, but I don't really care about that. I could also settle here. Because this is too far from these horses. This is still too far from these horses. But at least we'll get the sheep and bananas. I can't build plantations yet, so that's why I'm not working on the wine or the tobacco. Oh, there is Shaka. And he will be expanding this way. Uh, so he's probably gonna settle this. That's gonna be a pain in the ass to go get. Good thing is that I don't think there is anyone else that, well, good thing. <laughs> I said good thing and then I realized what I'm about to continue with. Uh, I want to say good thing is that Shaq uh, doesn't have anyone else to fight, just us. Which is good because uh, he went authority, yeah. Uh, as long as he can't take anything from us, authority will be basically useless for him. And that's gonna slow him down. Uh, on the other hand, is it good being the only target for Shaka? And that's Ulundi, so... Actually, if that's Ulundi... Now, he will expand this way at some point. How many cities does he have? Two... There might not even be enough room to, to expand in this direction. Excuse me. Wow. Well, if he settles here, then he has only these two tiles in range, but settling here now looks pretty damn damn. Holy crap. From Shaka point of view, I, I can't do it. Uh, if I, even if I decided to go there immediately, I just wouldn't settle here because I would immediately immediately lose the city. It's in the, undefendable for me. But for Shaka, it's super easy to defend. And that one city is going to cover everything. What is it? Triple stone, triple fish, wine, iron, cattle... Oh, it's actually quadruple stone. 
And I'm not even talking about the chocolate that's in the range on the other side. What the hell? <laughs> Look at India. <laughs> Just expanding straight down to us. I don't like that. How many cities does he have? Four. So there is one more city here. Okay, horses. Uh, I think Monte is like the last person who's gonna get them. I think I would trade with Assyria. How many cities do you have? Three. Oh, there's another fish. What the hell? Let's go this way. I want to lock the King Solomon's mines. It's a decent tile, decent yields. Uh, are we friends with India? Yes. So we are not stealing that settler. We can at least check where he's going. Oh, yeah, I forgot to sell those horses. Uh, not to you. He's going south. Can we make it there in time? Do you want to... Uh, actually, not sure. Let's try to delay him as much as possible. Can't do anything. What do you think you are doing? Why? I think if he pops the city here, I'm fine with that. Oh, he wants to settle here. Uh, 
I might have enough money to prevent that. Not sure that was worth it, but uh, well. Also, I probably should improve the iron now when I invest it into it. Shaka with that uses. Yep, perfect. Look at that. You're gonna be at war with Shaka in like 20 turns probably. And this is a wrong city location. Like it's so wrong. And this city is so unnecessary. Well, there is T, so maybe... No, 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 Olundi would reach that eventually. Yeah, this is... This city is just a waste. That was a quick war. No one got anything out of it. Oh, I probably should sell those horses. Okay, who gets horses? Assyria. Let's see how much... That's quite a lot of money he's willing to offer. Who has copper? India. Nope. Hmm. I think the value is wrong. <laughs> How much was that again? 10? Yeah, he's willing to pay 10 for the horse. Okay. And the other one... If I could trade a horse for the copper... Maybe one gold? No.
How much would you pay? Would you pay 10 as well? If he pays 10, then I'll do it. Because that's a lot of money. Okay, so technically moving one tile right from the start cost us 80 gold per turn. Oh, that's three horses and four horses. So, so only 70 gold per turn. Because knowing that I can get 10 gold per turn, my priority, if this, if our capital was here, my priority now would be to buy these two tiles as soon as possible, improve them, and sell them. Also, another thing that we lost because of that is for uh, fate per turn. Damn, moving this way was a good idea. Or was a bad decision, should have. Actually, maybe I should have moved here. I should have settled on the wine, but I just don't do that unless I have a reason for it and I didn't see those horses. This had to happen. I just could have stayed here and wait for the farm triangle. That was the initial plan. Uh, that's a lot of money running around that we can't reach. How much money do we have now? 42 gold per turn. What do we need? We need units. When do we get religion? It's still gonna take a while. If we even get it. I'm already thinking what's gonna be what's gonna be our next free tag. Can probably wait two turns. Hope there isn't the second composite build because that will hurt. Maeda, what 
Shark Head Zip. Yeah, I think I'll take Kofi for the City Gold. Uh, how much happiness do we have? 75. Just out of curiosity, how much would Shaka pay for silver? How much money does he have? Would you pay seven? No. Would you pay six? Yes. Next. Oh, right. We are next to India. Oh. That's going to be a problem eventually when the pressure kicks in. I think I will have to just delete India. What, what we'll probably end up doing is just removing India from the map, removing Shaka from the map. And then stop. Just secure the, the, the western side. Because Shaka is gonna be a pain in the ass. I mean, technically we could leave Shaka if uh, he's just confined here. And can't snowball too hard. We could use him like a resource, basically. We would be constantly fighting. If we get the uh, Terracotta army, we would get a lot of culture. But India is just a pain in the ass. And I kind of want this land. We could get some pretty nice cities. Much time 64. I'm not gonna show that we get the religion. How long until we get stell everywhere? Uh, probably need like 35 turns, so hopefully that will be fine. Okay, iron. How much can we get for iron? Also, the fact that Shaka is now the strongest save, technically, like strongest, is on top of the, the ladder. It is not good. How many cities does he have now? Four. He's gonna have another one probably here. Damage. 
Is there anybody who would pay more than 140? 140, 140. Just curious how much India would pay. Arabia. It's probably gonna be the same for everyone. Yeah, it's too early for iron. Would you pay seven? Six? Five? Still okay. We can sell a one to Arabia. Basically taking away most of their income this way. And giving them something they don't need. Or at least what they don't need yet. Oh, you don't have money. I think I'm gonna sell Monty all of it or like all of it, both. So it's another 20 gold per turn. We have a decent we have a really good income actually. Because the AIs currently have nothing. <clears throat> I could pay for the Terracotta Army. That will give me what? Uh, that will give me probably five turns. The question is, is it worth it? For 310, I can get one and a half Spearmen, which is probably something I need more. Because currently I have four units, one of those is a pathfinder, so we don't look uh, really threatening or dangerous, or like we can protect ourselves. How many tags do people have? Yeah, 10, 13, 15, 17, 16. Wow. How did that happen? Just don't have the production. This is why I don't like progress compared to authority. Just don't have production. This early, this ten percent from expertise doesn't mean anything. You get plus two from organization, but that's that's it. You don't get anything else. Here you get plus six. Plus tribute. The production from tribute may not seem as much, but it adds a lot. Let's do one more turn, I want to destroy the camp. And Shaka is attacking. We have, oh, okay, we have just lost. I'm gonna play for a few more turns because I want to know if this was just a random group of units that they just were there suddenly 
And now they spread out again, or if he's gonna attack. I'm thinking if I should buy the second Spearman here, or here. Oh, I should probably be working these. Did we have a declaration of friendship when he declared? Sure. I'm just checking the promotions. And we are in bad shape. Okay, let's make a cut here. We will continue next time. I'm really curious if we can defend here or not, but I think that we are already too far behind and we'll just keep falling further and further behind because we just don't have any production we don't have any science yes they don't even have any food i might even take fraternity next oh no uh it's plus three science from cities with connections so that science wouldn't kick in right away Well, we'll see next time. Worst case scenario, I'm just gonna restart it and uh, do this as an uh, 
Authority early game. Still non-domination, but just go Authority for all of the extra production. Maybe then go Authority like into progress, into rationalism. Something like that. Oh well, we will see about that. We are done with this episode. So I hope that you liked it. I hope that you can join me next time again. Until then, have a good time. Bye bye.